Back to the final game of the You Don't Know Jack book. Wah. And here we are, the first question. Scooby-Doo and vitamins. What's the best name for a new Scooby-Doo character who, really, who suffers from vitamin C deficiency? A. Scummy-Doo, B. Rickety-Doo, C. Deficiency-Doo, or D. Scruffy-Doo, or Scurvy, not, not Scruffy, Scurvy-Doo. And the answer is D. Scurvy-Doo would be appropriate for a dog lacking vitamin C. You know, it would really throw the cartoon world into turmoil if scurvy dog, if scurvy do started taking Flintstone vitamins. My head is spinning. If sitcoms were single-celled organiz organisms, the process of creating a spin-off would be called what? A peristalsis. B mitosis. C cello Devasis or decloning? The answer is, luckily, something that's easy to say. B. Mitosis is the process where one cell divides into two independent cells. It's not a flawless process. Take the Happy Days cell. Sometimes you get a healthy new cell, like Laverne and Shirley. Other times you get a defective mutant, like Joni Loves Chachi or whatever. Train. Iconoclastic toys. Suppose a leading toy manufacturer decides to cash in the Sunday schooler market, or cash in on the Sunday schooler market, and release a new line of biblical toys. Which baby doll might include a woven bulrush carrying case? Is it A. Isaac, B. Jesus, C. Moses, or D. Uh, Huey? The answer is C. According to the story, Moses was sent adrift in a bulrush basket by his mother and was found by Egyptian princesses. The baby Moses doll is it's safe to use near water and it's guaranteed to last over 900 years. Stone tablets sold separately. Oh, this is going to be this is a weird question. Um, astronomical proportions. If the Roman god Mercury, the Venus de Milo, and Uranus suddenly balloon to the size of the planets Mercury, Venus, and Uranus, which of these series would be true? A. Big god, medium butthole, C. Or, well, big god, medium butthole, small statue, B. Big god, medium statue, small butthole, C. Big butthole, medium statue, small god, D. Big butthole, medium god, small statue. The answer is, probably pretty obviously, C. I was looking for my answer, but I, I probably should have just said it. Big butthole, medium statue, small god. Uranus, the planet, is the third largest in the solar system. Venus is the fourth, now third, smallest. And Mercury is the second, now first smallest. Look at it this way. You won't even feel it when somebody... When some... When... What? When someone has to take your temperature. Jeez. <laughs> Does anybody ever do that anymore? <laughs> the periodic table of poor taste. Everybody knows that H2O is water and CO2 is carbon dioxide. But take a look at this. Which of the following words is not formed from actual symbols for atomic elements? S-H-L-O-N-G C-R-O T H T C H T E S T I C L E S or B A C O N. The answer is A. S H L O and N G are not symbols for atomic elements. Ain't learning fun. <laughs> and the final piece of paper. <laughs> And the final gibberish question. Those damn yuppies and their campaign slogans. <laughs> What's, what, with what song title does this phrase rhyme? Flaky Yuppie Gore 2 Logo. I think. I don't know. Hint 1. It's a repetitive 80s tune. 
Hint two, the song is about getting up in the morning. Hint three, wake up. <laughs> Answer is, wake me up before you go, go. And we move along. Okay. Seventh question. Start raving mad and smarter than everyone else. If Rene Descartes and Andre the Giant were combined into one person, which of these sayings might have been coined? A. No man is a faulty, th faulty thyroid gland unto himself. B. The half Nelson is mightier than the sword. C. I think, therefore I slam. Or D. Time keeps on ticking into the turnbuckle. The answer is C. I think, therefore I slam. Rene the Giant Descartes, the world's, uh, I don't know how to say that, uh, the world's first philosopher wrestler, wouldn't just pin you, he convinced the referee that he didn't exist and then knee you in the balls, of course. <laughs> Alright, the nudity and the papacy. The Pope is undressing to take his soak in a hot tub. He removes his hat first. If he removes his hat first, which vestment will he be removing? A, the chasuble, B, the cassock, C, the rochet, or D, the mitre? The answer is D. The mitre is the Pope's big honking hat. So he's got the Pope mobile. Do you think they, they call his bathtub the Pope tub, or perhaps the Pope shower? The answer is... Or, the answer is, wow, I, well, what am I even doing anymore? Question nine, the last actual question. Snacks were completely nuts over. Which of the following was a real candy sold in the U.S.? A, Charlie Chimps Chocolate Cherries, B, Chocolate Covered Gorilla Balls, C, Gopher Gonads, or D, Honey Roasted Condors Nuts? Jesus. <laughs> the answer is... B. Chocolate covered Gorilla Balls. They were malted milk balls. And no, they were not sold in a wrinkly bag. And it's, at this and it's at this opportune time that I would like to remind you for the final time that these answers... That these answered quips were not made by me. Yes, and they were, they were, you know, on the back of here. Like, like seriously. They're, they're, they're right here. Or even that one. Or even that one. <laughs> Anyways, this or that, the final this or that. Forsooth I ache. Is it a Shakespearean play or it is these? Number one, cirrhosis. Two, syphilis. Three, Troli, Tr Troilus and Cressida. Two, Titus Andronicus. Five, wait, I, have, I don't know, I might have messed up the numbers. Five, gingivitis. Six, Coriolanus. Seven, dermatitis. And the answers, number one is a disease, number two is a disease, number three is a play, number four is a play, number five is a disease, number six is a play, and number seven is a disease. And we go on to the final Jack Attack. Death by and with chocolate. One, Goobers. Two, Reese's. Four, Raisinets. Four, wait... Uh, three Raisinets, four Mounds, five Mars Bar, six Twix, seven Whoppers. And your answers, coconut, gooey, peanut butter, peanuts, almonds, geeks, raisins, malted milk, salty, sweet, kiwi, cookie, boogers, candy, don't, bun, bananas, chipped beef, Chicken, snot, movie food, mole, tuna fish, cherries, grasshoppers, almond joy, and yogurt. And here are your answers. Eh, if you can see the whole thing, so you can, you know, make your guesses now. Uh, the answers are... 1. Peanuts. 2. Peanut butter. 3. Raisins. 4. Coconut. 5. Almonds. 6. Cookie. And 7. Malted milk. And here is your final score for this book. And how about let's look at what you can do with this book. That's it. No more. You've excited. You've exhausted all the trivia in this book and maybe just maybe learned a little bit about yourself in the process.
Well, we're not satisfied. In order to give you the very best value that your $7.95 can buy, here are some ways to extend the life of this book. Uh, five and a half by eight and a half flashcards. Wet out the existing test fir text first. Something to cover carpet stains. Attach wheels and pretend. It, uh, attach wheels on a leash and pretend it's a small dog. Booster seat for an exceptionally small child. Using pages as wrapping paper. In lieu of mace, smack muggers in the face with it. Brain teaser. Guess how many pages are in the book? Look at the last page and see if you got it. And see if you're right. Repeat. Excellent source of fiber. Flip pages and make bets with friends on whether or not the word but will appear on the page. Give yourself a refreshing paper cut. Handy toe separator for use when applying toenail polish. Oven mitt. Hummingbird landing pad. Paste photos and newspaper clippings into it for a scrapbook. Fun tool for obedience training your dog. Individual pages make handy Christmas tree ornaments. A kite for extremely windy days. Completely ineffective flipbook. Merit. Merit. I don't. Marital aid. <laughs> uh, take to a pawn shop. Trade for enough to buy half of a phone call. Combine with sticks and mud for this wind for this winter's nest. Uh, throw out window for experiment in gravity. Wait for your light forearm exercises. Air freshener. Scent not included. And that is the You Don't Know Jack, or the book. It's a lot of stuff in it, and I just went through all of the games. Oh boy, it's now over. You had to see something different in this, I guess, time slot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>